We are the farmers. Hello, everybody. This is WA2GSR Ham Radio YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of my ICOM IC-T70A dual band handheld transceiver. So, this is a ICOM dual band handheld transceiver, 2 meters and 77 meters dual band, obviously. This is one of their newer ones, um, a little bit different than the ASU. The ASU screen is up here and the speakers down here, they flip-flopped it. Definitely much newer than the FT-60, I believe that's the model. Very nice radio, first off, just like to say, very nice radio. Very, very uh, happy with it. Very sturdy compared to the Baofangs. I'd say if you're looking to upgrade, get this. It is a little bit more pricier. I was lucky enough to find some guy on eBay selling it for 150 bucks, brand new. These things go for a little over 200 so I was very pleased. The Asus go for a little bit less, but I'm an Icon guy, and I like Icon. So first off... It, uh, it produces 5 watts of power when you are talking. Uh, some of the Baofangs do like 8 watts. It really... It's not the best. That's not like the best way, I guess. Um, it doesn't really do exactly 8 watts. Um, so here is your set and lock mo uh, button. Band button, scan, your mode button. You got your numbers to punch in. Tone scan, tone, power button. Very nice display, easy to change through all the different settings you need, and then to get back you just press that. You got your dial and your your uh, volume right here, and then you got your frequency tuner. You got your standard my uh, antenna it comes with a FA S two seven. 70C. Uh, I've had no problems with it. Don't need a whip antenna. Haven't uh, sought the need for it. You got your PTT button. And then, don't know exactly what this is, but another plug-in. And then your mic goes up here. So, overall, uh, then you got the lithium-ion battery. Lasts a really good bit. I don't know exactly. I think it was like 15 hours. Um, you got your clip, belt clip. It's just much sturdier, just very much sturdier compared to uh, the Baofangs. Uh, I have yet to see, I haven't uh, used a Yesu FT60, but I do know that uh, these are, the, the, practically, this is the same exact thing as that. It's just, this is a little bit more updated, newer, and it's ICOM, and it's a different design. <coughs> but uh, it really is... Really nice radio. I, I enjoyed a lot. I was lucky enough to get it inexpensive. You can get this right now at HRO for around $160. So, but that's on sale. That's like the demo version, I think. But you just got to scour around the internet and find somebody selling one. I was lucky enough to find a brand new. Uh, I got this because my Baofeng uh, BFF9 V2 Plus I bought crapped out after two weeks. It uh, One day the audio went so I need an upgrade and I got the ICOM and it has not failed me since very good uh, very good audio quality I will say that very good audio quality compared to the Baofangs uh, nice here dual band which is nice I know standard of them but you get the point but overall a very very nice radio um, haven't seen ma too many videos on these, but I did some research and I like this, uh, I like this a lot and wanted to bring this out to everybody else. So basically that's really it. Um, just like to say it's a very good radio. I highly recommend it to people starting in. It's, uh, it's a lot, it's a really good starter. Well, not starter one, I'd say it's a good all-around one, but it's much better than, uh, paying three, four hundred dollars for a Kenwood when you can get this for... 150 bucks or 200 bucks if you save some some money. I would recommend the Yesu FT60. I believe it's um I would not doubt that. I have Yesu right there. Um but I I personally am an Icom guy, so I like this. So, I hope uh, everybody enjoyed watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.